In this sequence, we will be focusing on the Muladhara Chakra, or the Root Chakra, which is located in the base of the spine. Starting in seated position, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Imagine a string pulling you from the top of your head, giving you a straight spine. Inhale, stretch upwards. Exhale, lead with your chest while you fold forward, just allowing your body to sink towards the mat. The Muladhara Chakra has the grossest and heaviest energy. This quality is what provides grounding, stability, security, patience, and tolerance. But if it's imbalanced with too much heaviness, it can lead to attachment, greed, and jealousy. An affirmation for class I would like to suggest. I am connected with the energy of the earth. My body, mind, and spirit are grounded and purified. Slowly making our way back up to seated, we're going to extend our left foot out in front of us. Take your right peace fingers and wrap them around your right big toe. And then we're going to straighten our leg and bend into it bringing our knee to the opposite side of our arm each time it bends. Now keeping your leg straight, we're gonna gently come on to our left elbow. And maybe if you wanna go even deeper, you can lay all the way down on your back. And we wanna stay active with that left leg, so keeping your toes and your thigh, everything in that leg flexed. Slowly coming up if you're able to keep the grip with your big toe until you set your leg all the way to the mat. Now taking your left piece fingers and wrapping them around your left big toe and doing the same thing on the opposite side. And we want to keep a straight spine while doing so. Straighten that leg and slowly either come down onto your elbow or onto your back, whatever you did on the opposite side, and staying active through that right leg. Breathing here. Slowly making your way back up, trying to keep that grip until you can gently place your left leg on the mat. Legs out in front of you, inhale, think of the string pulling at the top of your head. Exhale, lead with your chest and reach for your feet. It is okay if you can't touch them, you can grab your shins or you can bend your knees. Just stay active in the legs and let your body sink towards the mat. Now, however you want to get there, we're going to make our way to our knees, but keeping our toes tucked and sitting back onto our heels. Don't forget your pinky toes, they tend to get stuck back there. And just placing your hands on your thighs, maybe closing your eyes. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Just focus on the breath. Now slowly untucking your toes coming onto the tops of your feet, maybe hitting them on the mat when you get there, we're going to sit back onto our heels and gently pull up our right knee towards our face, stretching into the top of that right foot. And then doing the same thing on the opposite side, finding your drishti which in Sanskrit means one-pointed focus, so it can either be focusing on your breath, staring at a still object, or thinking of the affirmation we set at the beginning of class. Now releasing the knee, we're gonna meet in tabletop. As we inhale, we're gonna drop our belly, look up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, rounding your spine. Just doing a few cat cows here. Inhale while we do cow. Exhale while we do cat and maybe adding any other movement that your body's asking you for. From here, we're gonna meet back into tabletop, tucking your toes, bringing your knees just a few inches off of the mat and holding here. And then start to straighten your legs, sending your hips up into downward dog, bending one knee at a time, 
then straightening into both legs, sending your right leg up towards the sky, coming into three-legged dog. Opening your hip and bending your right knee, bringing your right heel towards your glute, and then circling your knee down to your elbow and back up again. Just doing a few circles here, keeping a strong foundation through your hands and your left foot. Now bringing your right foot back onto the mat, we're gonna push off on our tippy toes around your spine, tuck your chin, and then dip your hips into upward dog, keeping your toes tucked, and then pushing back up into tabletop. Bringing your right hand towards the sky, rolling out your wrist, and then threading it behind your left, coming onto that right shoulder and cheek. Coming back to the breath. And if it feels comfortable, maybe bringing your left arm in front of you and walking it to the right. Now gently releasing, bringing your right arm back up towards the sky, rolling out the wrist and setting it down onto the mat. Now repeating the same thing on the other side. So left hand up towards the sky, roll out the wrist and then thread it through. Maybe walking your right arm up and to the left of the mat. Gently releasing, bringing your left arm up towards the sky, rolling out the wrist, and then back onto the mat. Now we're going to tuck our toes, push our way up into downward dog, and lift our left leg up towards the sky, bend your knee, bring your heel towards your glute, drawing big circles with the knee. Now bringing your left foot back onto the mat as slow as you can, walk your way up towards the top of your mat, keeping your hands planted until you absolutely can't anymore. Folding over your legs, and then rolling up one vertebra by vertebra, letting your head be the last thing to rise. Rolling your shoulders back, strong through the legs, we're gonna inhale, lift your hands up above your head, gaze between your thumbs. Exhale, slowly start to hinge at the hips, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your palms to your shins. Exhale, planting your hand, stepping your right foot back, dropping the knee, coming into low lunge. Inhale, strong core, bringing your hands up above your head, adding a back bend if that feels comfortable. Exhale, framing that left foot, stepping it back to meet the right, coming into plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees, chin and chest towards the mat. Inhale as we pull our heart forward and bring our knees up off of the mat, coming into upward dog, maybe moving your hips side to side. And then exhale, tuck your toes, push back into downward dog, taking an extra round of breath and on your next exhale, bringing your right foot in between your hands, dropping your left knee, inhale, strong core, lift your hands up above your head, add a back bend if that feels comfortable. Exhale, frame your front foot, step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale while we slowly roll all the way up, lifting our arms up towards the sky, gazing between the thumbs. Exhale, coming into mountain pose, bringing your hands to your sides. Then we're gonna put all of our weight into the left side body, bend into that front leg, bring it out to the right, and just do little pulses up towards the sky, keeping your right foot flexed and your core tight. Dropping your foot back down onto the mat and just doing the same thing on the opposite side. So left knee bends, open up your hip, and just keep pulsing here while also finding your dristi. Dropping that foot, coming into Malasana from here, so walking your feet slightly outward, pointing your toes, squat all the way down, hands are in prayer, and let your elbows push up against the inside of your knee. Keeping your spine as straight as possible, maybe swaying side to side, really easing into those hip joints. Now setting up for chair, bring your hands onto your mat, walk your feet together, bend your knees, and sway your arms up towards the sky. 
sinking low, and then maybe coming on to your tippy toes and bringing your hands behind you. Inhale, arms come up above head, step your left leg back into crescent lunge. You wanna make sure your hips are facing the front of the mat. Breathing here, exhale, open up to warrior two, tee out your arms and make your back foot parallel. Imagining a line going from your front heel all the way to the middle of your back foot. Now reach your front arm forward and then up towards the sky, resting your left arm either on your left thigh or your lower back. Then start to straighten your front leg, bring your right hand to a block on the outside of your right foot, or just rest your hand on your ankle. Now bring your left foot next to your right, coming into chair pose, sinking low here. Maybe coming up onto your tippy toes, bringing your hands to your side. It's okay if you lose balance here, at least you're trying. Now stepping your right foot back, coming into crescent lunge, arms above head. Strong core here and just settling into the pose. Exhale, warrior two, tee out your arms, imagine that line. And gaze over your left fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathing here. Exhale, straighten the front leg, coming into triangle pose. Making sure your arms are in a straight line as we gaze up towards the sky. Now bringing both hands towards the mat, frame that left foot, and then step forward with your right leg, coming back into chair pose. Bring your palms together into prayer, and we're just going to lock our left elbow on the outside of our right knee. And we really want to be pushing our palms together. With balance, step your left foot back. Open up your arms and hold here. Now coming into standing split, we're gonna frame our front leg and then bring our left leg up towards the sky, bringing our nose towards our right knee. Then bending your left leg and with control, slowly start to bring it up into standing without it touching the floor. Placing your hands on your hips, finding your dristi. We're gonna take our left piece fingers, wrap it around our left big toe. You can stay here, or if you feel comfortable and balanced, you can start to straighten into that left leg, always coming back to the breath. And if you're balanced here, we're gonna open our leg to the left and reach your right hand towards the right. With control, starting to release, bringing your leg forward and then gently letting go of your toe. Sinking into your hips, sweep your arms up into chair pose. Bring your palms together. Same thing on the other side. Lock your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, really pushing into your palms. With control here, step your right foot back and open out your arms. You wanna make sure you're pushing your forearm and the outside of your knee into one another. And then making our way to standing split, frame your left foot. Kick your right foot up towards the sky. You can walk your hands forward a little bit or if you want a balancing pose, lift them off of the mat or hold on to your left ankle. With balance and control, bend into that right knee. Bring it all the way up into standing. Take your right piece fingers, wrap them around your right big toe. And if you're balanced here, straighten into that leg. Find your dristi. Now open your left arm out to the left and bring your right leg out to the right. When you're ready, gently release. Step your right foot next to your left. 
sink into the hips, sweep your arms up into chair while simultaneously coming onto your tippy toes. And as slow as you can, sink into your hips and sit all the way down. Start to scoot back and bring your legs straight out in front of you. Inhale, bring your arms up above head, keeping a straight spine. Exhale, lead with the chest, start to fold forward. Either grab your shin, your toes, letting your body sink towards the mat. Breathing here. And maybe coming back to the affirmation we said to ourselves in the beginning of class. Now making our way into low lunge, we're going to step our right foot back and drop our right knee. With control, we're going to bring our heel towards our glute and then grab the outside of our ankle with our right hand, maybe even grabbing it with your left hand on the opposite side and just gazing up towards the sky. Using a strap here would also be very beneficial. Without flinging your back foot, gently release. And bring your hands to the inside of your left foot coming into lizard pose so staying here or coming down onto your forearms now opening up our hip by coming onto the outside edge of our left foot and breathing here if you were on your forearms gently come back up onto your hands coming into half split, so straightening your leg out in front of you and keeping your left foot flexed back towards your face. Your hips might naturally want to move to the right. Try to keep them squared. Now starting to bend into that front knee coming into pigeon, we're going to scoot our left foot to the right side of our mat. Drop your knee. Inhale, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Exhale, slowly start to walk your hands forward. And if it's comfortable, coming all the way down onto your mat. Slowly start to make your way back up, tuck your right toes, and then bring your left leg up into three-legged dog, bending the knee, opening the hip, and then placing it back down onto the mat. Now we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side, starting with low lunge. We're going to energetically move our left heel towards our left glute, maybe grabbing it with both hands, breathing here. Gently releasing and bringing your hands on the inside of your right foot, coming into lizard, maybe going on the forearms if that's comfortable. And just opening up the hip, coming onto the edge of your right foot. If you are on your forearm, slowly coming back up onto your hands, bringing your leg in between your arms and straightening into that leg, coming into half split, letting your body sink towards your thigh here.
start to make your way up and walk your front foot towards the left side of the mat, dropping your knee and coming into pigeon. Inhale, stretch your head towards the sky and exhale, fold all the way down. Slowly starting to make your way back up, tuck your left toes, push your right leg up towards the sky, bend your knee, open your hip, and then place it right next to the left. Coming into down dog, pushing back towards your legs, and then meeting in child's pose, sit your hips back onto your heels and stretch out your arms in front of you. From here, we're gonna make our way into seated position. Legs are long out in front of you and as slow as you can, roll all the way down to your mat. Coming into Shavasana, taking up all the space on your mat, hands are at your side, eyes are closed, and toes are pointed outward. Just giving your mind a break here Focusing on how your belly rises up towards the sky as you inhale and then letting it sink down as we exhale. When you're ready, start to bring some movement into your toes, into your fingertips. Maybe stretch your arms above your head and roll on to either your left or right side. Left being feminine, right being masculine. Maybe staying here for a moment. When you're ready, making your way back up into seated position, keeping your eyes closed while doing so. Bring your palms together and start rubbing them against each other until you feel heat forming between them. Once you feel the heat in between your hands, go ahead and bring them a few inches apart. Now imagine a big ball of energy that you're holding in between your hands. Give the ball a color, give it a feeling, start to bring the ball up and place it on top of your head, imagining all that good energy flowing throughout your whole entire body. I am connected with the energy of the earth. My body, mind, and spirit are grounded and purified. Namaste, yogis.